And we're back. You know, um, you see, I didn't know who dude was in that trailer, you know. So, <laughs> but I come to find out later on, he's called Mesmer the Impaler. So, you know, I got to do some research. <laughs> so, you know, we, we doing who is Mesmer the Impaler. I, I got to know. I got to know the threat I'm fighting. Bro, bro, slithery. Okay? So, um, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Three things. That's it. That's all you got to do. Check out my social media down below if you want. So, like I said, if you want, if you don't, fine by me. Cool. But, uh, yeah. Let's do this. So if you're anything like me after watching the Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer, you are completely overwhelmed and also excited at all of the possibilities this DLC could unveil about the story of Elden Ring. I'm yeah. blown away by everything that, that was shown hands. in the Save You trailer. The atmosphere, art direction, new enemies, bosses, weapons, ashes of war really makes me understand why it has taken over two years for this DLC to be developed. Shadow of the Erd Tree is going to be massive, and I'm happy that the massive. community is excited to again explore what is my favorite game of all time at this point. I expected this trailer to meet all of my over-the-top expectations, Ugh. and it definitely sorry, did. But what I didn't expect was a completely new character that none of us have ever heard of to take center stage, no. and that new character is known as Mesmer the Impaler. So who is Mesmer? Well, that's what I'm going to attempt to theorize on in this video. And let me preface this before we get started, that everything I'm about to talk about is just that, a theory. A theory. We don't know anything for sure until we get our sweaty <laughs> hands on the game come June 21. But it's fun to theorize, so just understand that that is what we're doing here. So while we got several different unique voices within this trailer, all mentioning different things, I believe we did get see, at least one line see, from I Mesmer. Mess with that. Like, what is that thing? How am I supposed to fight that? <laughs> He's God. He, he might just be the boss that I, I, I end up quitting on. Himself. Oh. Mother. He's crazy. Wouldst thou truly lordship sanction anyone God. so bereft of life? Now, at first glance, Mesper's character design reminds me heavily of Moog. The red accents on his clothing, the small bat wings on his back, his that. long spear, and his bright red blood flame incantation all screams Ugh. Moog to me. Mesper's armor also reminds me a lot of the Drake armor set that can be seen on Eleonora when you fight against her in the Second Church of America in Altus Plateau. This really is a stretch though, I just wanted to mention this armor set just because my immediate reaction to Mesmer was the Drake armor set. And outside huh. of this church, we can find a monument that reads, The First Defense of Landell, a sovereign alliance rots from within. Traces yet remain of a bloody conspiracy, which could be referencing some kind of blasphemous what? conspiracy <laughs> against the Erd Tree. Along with this, the snakes that wrap around his body obviously also references Rikard. Snakes in Elden Ring usually symbolize blasphemous individuals who have forsaken the Earth Tree's will. However, his dialogue no. suggests that he is talking to his mother, who can apparently approve the lordship of someone who is lacking light. I believe Mesmer is referring to Queen Merica here, as she would have been the one who could grant and divest light, or the guidance of grace, from the eyes of her followers. This could also be referenced to oh. as the Grace of Gold, and the trailer suggests that whoever is divested of grace will meet death by the hands of Mesmer's flame. Those stripped of the Grace of Gold shall all meet death. No, I'm good. The grace of Mesmer's flame. Hey, I Soon after we, this, we get another unique- Mesmer about the same. We both use flame, except my flame gonna be better. Simple as that, you know? Elden Lord, I sit on the throne. I sit on the throne. You know? Voice telling us how to enter the realm of shadows. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadows. Oh. I will not be far behind. May we meet again.
As we have all theorized for two years at this point, Nicola's hand in Mogwin's palace will be the entrance to the DLC. The character we see standing in Mogwin's palace at the beginning of the trailer could be a version of Nicola acting as a new guide throughout the Land of Shadows in place of Melina. What I mean by version of Mikola is while one version of Mikola himself is still pure and radiant, Mesmer may be his blasphemous alter ego, created when Mikola divested himself of his flesh, strength, and lineage, oh. which we can read from the Shadow of the Earth Tree website that says, The Land of Shadow, a place obscured by the Earth Tree, where the goddess Merica first set foot, a land purged in an unsung battle, set ablaze by Mesmer's flame. It was to this land that Mikola departed, divesting himself of his flesh, his strength, his lineage, of all things golden. And now Mikola awaits the return of his promised lord. It would make sense that Mesmer is somehow related to Mikola and Melania, potentially a third unwanted child of Merica and Radagon, oh, no. or, and this is difficult to even think about, a potential child of Mikola and Moog. We don't know exactly what Moog has done to the real body of Mikola within the cocoon, but it could be safe to relate Mikola, Melania, and Mesmer to the three types of butterflies. Oh, Macy no. being Mikola, Scarlet, Melania, and Smoldering, Mesmer. The sentence, now Mikola awaits the return of his promised lord, reminds me a lot of Ronnie. She divested herself from the influence of the two fingers, her own body, and gave up know, the lineage that would have taken America's lord, put the ring on the finger. And, and, and we started the moon, you know? Place as queen. Now she waited for you, or really anyone deserving, to take her hand as her lord. So it was thee who would become my yes, lord. Me. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the lord. Mesmer's color of flame also reminds me of the red spear within Merica inside of the Erd Tree. Not to mention Mesmer being called the Impaler makes me think this spear could be Mesmer trying to somehow break himself free from the Realm of Shadows by nah, impaling Merica there. and Radagon, stay which there. could be why parts <laughs> of their shattered bodies are you. dark and shadow-like. Mesmer's colored flame and the spear also reminds me of Destined Death being released after we defeat Malekith. The Rune of Death's description even says that the Rune of Death goes by two names, the other is Destined Death, the forbidden shadow plucked from the Golden Order upon its creation, and the Golden Order was oh, only created after confining Destined Death itself. Merica is the one who removed the Rune of Death from the Elden Ring, and in order for the Golden Order to prosper, Destined Death needed to be hidden from the Lands Between. This is where I believe the cloak or veil that covers the Land of Shadows comes into play. It's meant to hide the Realm of Shadows and Mesmer from the world. It's a giant concealing veil, which is also a talisman that reads, part of one of the concealing veils used by the assassins on the Night of Black Knives. There's also the Mimics Veil, which allows well, the invested. player to mimic any nearby objects. Its description says, when Godric was hounded from Landell, the royal capital, well, this was bank. one of the multitude of treasures he took with him, also known as Merica's Mischief. We have all theorized that Merica may have had something to do with the plot of the Night of Black Knives. So both of these items could suggest that Merica is the one that cast the veil to hide Mesmer and potentially many other things. Uh, what it sounded like is he's a third child. That's all it sounded like. I'm trying to hide him. And I'm not with it. Why are you coming out now? Because I'm Lord? Because I stand above all? Is that why? Because <laughs> I mean, I put I put down your sister Melania. I put down your brother. I ain't even touched your brother Mikola. He seems to be already whatever going on. I don't know what he got going on, to be honest. I prefer him to get, please come back, you know? His name is the Impaler. <laughs> I'm not with it. Like, I'm not with it. Away into what is now known as the Realm of Shadows. In the trailer, we can also see a new Great Rune. This rune is similar to that of the Great Rune of the Unborn, 
which we received from Renala, as well as similarities to Melania's rotted great room. Descriptions oh, of each can't bring us any closer to anything related to Mesmer. Nah, However, if we look closely like at the flame. release day image at the end of the trailer, we can see Mesmer sitting on one of the thrones of the demigods. Miyazaki said that this is meant to symbolize Mesmer's power and influence living oh, up to the sure. level of the other demigods. Uh. But if we look closely at the spear and the snake wrapping around it, it looks closely related to the new great rune also shown in the trailer. From Software is known for small details like this <laughs> in their art for too. all of their games. And he's not so I wouldn't be surprised like if this Redon. was complete. Radon only had like one percent of his strength. And if I'm not mistaken, Melania had only a couple percent of her strength too. Seems like to me this dude's been hitting off just just getting stronger. So <laughs> what type of powers am I gonna have to fight him? It's gonna be a handicap or something. Cause there's no way. Completely intentional to symbolize his relationship with the demigod shard bearers. Another reference to Mesper's spear can be seen in the mountaintops of the giants. Spears closely resembling Mesper's are impaling these frozen dead giants. Mesper seems huh? to be able to create new spears or spawn one at will, as we can see in the trailer. So it's possible that Mesper was the one to kill all of the giants, at least in the mountaintops. Oh, so this could make down. sense to Mesper's betrayal of the Erd Tree. Like we said, snakes He's usually represent traitors of the Erd Tree, and in order to be a traitor, you would have had to have been an ally at one point. So Mesper could have been He's involved with Godfrey in the war against the giants and the Erd Tree in the mountaintops. There is no mention of Mesper anywhere in the lands between. His nickname as the Impaler could reference the Impaler's catacombs in the Weeping Peninsula. Exploring this catacomb, we can't really find much. There are imps and maggot infested undead. It's likely called Impaler's catacomb because of the impaling traps and yeah. spear-like gates that we can find throughout. We can find the please help prattling pate on a body whose description reads as twisted clay sculpt in the shape of a human head amidst a voice that says, please help, a wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an internal journey, which could be referencing the journey to the realm of shadows. Which everybody said did that catacomb. I was just going through catacombs before I even beat the game, way before. I was crazy. <clears throat> or a soul returning to the Erd Tree. I ain't know it did all that. The boss at the end of this catacomb is a basic Erd Tree burial watchdog accompanied by four imps. This watchdog can't cast any magic or flame incantations like some others can, only physical attacks with the sword that it wields. Near this catacomb is the Church of Pilgrimage where we can find a ghost outside of it that says, the mausoleum prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. O America, Queen Eternal, he is your unwanted oh, child. This unwanted child. child could be referring to Mesmer, although we obviously can't say for sure. America could have had many children that she didn't want. Even Morgoth and Moog were banished to the sewers below the capital city, but that was for being born omens. Mesmer brings oh, up many more questions in regards to Mikola and Merica's intentions see, with the lands between. <laughs> and it looks like those questions will I'm be the focal children. point of the DLC, How as many? Miyazaki said himself in his interview with IGN, that we will be following Mikola and Merica throughout the Land of Shadows. There is so much to unpack in this long How three minutes. How many children did you have, Missy? What is your problem? And now they're all my issue. <laughs> now they're the Elden Lord's issue to deal with. They're talking about impaling me. Oh, you know when Mikola come back, he, he, he gonna hit me with a spear of light. Like I'm a devil out of high school DXD. <laughs> Man. In a trailer, Whatever, but Mesmer the Impaler was clearly the focal point of the DLC, so I wanted to make a video on him before anything else. Thank I hope you, you enjoyed bro. watching. Subscribe for more to come it. in the coming months leading up to the release. Video. I know I'll be Did making several new characters it. to you. prepare for the DLC, which I'll be live streaming here on YouTube as well from time to time. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. You gotta be kidding me. Just know I'm not with it, okay? <laughs>
How many children did you have, Missy? That's all I need to know. Because I got to slaughter them all one by one if I got to. Okay. Elden Lord, Demigod, eh, maybe. But, uh, I'm skipping past Demigod, going straight to the God. Okay? I'm going straight to God. Talking about, like, Thor, Odin type God. Greek, if you want to go Greek, Kratos. You know? I'm trying to start slaughtering, ending. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. That's all I got to say, you know? <laughs> Enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said before, social media is all down in the link below. So it's original video. Check that out, you know? May as well. Show support to the dude who made it. He obviously didn't have to make it for y'all, but he did. So, may as well show support, whatever. Um, peace. I'll cut him, rip out his spine! I'll kill him, I'll kill him!